Hello everybody, welcome to this week's video or podcast wherever you are listening or watching. Thank you so much for being here. Today is a powerful episode because it's being recorded on the Equinox and posted on the Equinox to help you connect to the power of of moving into spring, embracing this new energy, this new life that we have. In today's video, I'm going to talk through some wild symbolism that has shown up in my own life that represents the end of winter, that represents the end of a dark, tumultuous time and stepping into something new and how that you can maybe relate that to your life as well. I'm going to talk about how you can let go, how you can harness this spring energy to move forward in your life and create exactly what it is that you want. I'll be giving a meditation and some journal prompts towards the end. And if you have any questions, as always, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you if you wanna share anything and I'll be sure to get back to you and help you in any way that I can. So let's think it's now the middle of March, nearly the end of March, 2024 and it has been, especially in the UK, a long, dark, very wet winter. And during winter, there doesn't feel like there's much hope. It can feel, it's a time to go inward, but how we're programmed as a society is to be out in yang, spring, summer energy all the time, working the nine to five, um, succeed, 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 that isn't how our bodies are made. That's not how our lives are supposed to be lived. We are nature. So if we can learn to under, like, flow with nature, understand that we have seasons too, um, then we will be open up our, ourselves to go in a more easeful path throughout life, understanding that the dark days aren't going to last forever, the winter doesn't last forever, and one day spring will come, the flowers will start to blossom again, the trees will start to blossom, the flowers will start to bloom, as will you and your life. So, let's feel into winter melting away and allow the vibrancy of spring to bloom in your life and open up to what's possible. What is possible for you to create this year? What's possible, you know, it's also the end of the zodiac year and the beginning of a new one. It's, there are so many powerful endings at the moment uh, and so many powerful new beginnings. So maybe take a moment here to reflect on what do you feel is ending in your life um, and what do you feel is ending in your life and what do you feel like you're moving into? What can you let go of and what can you step into? So just tell you a little bit about um, some symbolism that's happened in my life that you just can't really make this stuff up. I've just read an incredible book called The Book of Longings by Sue, Sue Monk Kid, I think. Um, I'll pop a link in it for the description in the description if anybody feels they want to read it after this. And it's such a profound book about Jesus's wife, Anna, if Jesus ever had a wife. And this lady, this author gave Anna a voice and Anna was fiery and a revolutionist and she was a, you know, stood up for what she believed in and, and it got her into a lot of trouble, but made for an excellent story. And alongside it, we see Jesus going through his cycle and his, and it ends, spoiler alert, it ends with Jesus being crucified and no resurrection. You're sort of waiting for the resurrection because you know that it comes metaphorically, right? So I've just finished this book and I read it in like 48 hours, something ridiculous. Um, and I've just finished this book. Easter is next week, right? So the Jesus coming back to life, spring is here, um, incredible like timing and I didn't plan it like that and I'm you know I don't I'm not Christian so I don't really follow Easter and stuff however after this I then did a very powerful letting go meditation which the members of my Lotus community are going to be going through tonight in our spring equinox vision event um so then did a very, very powerful letting go meditation uh, where, you know, I saw myself shedding the old self and uh, opening way to be reborn, to be rebirthed. Uh, and 
very powerful, I was very zen, I went to sleep, and then, now, as a Jungian life coach, I do a lot of, work with a lot of symbolism, you know, working with the unconscious mind, con communicating with the, with the unconscious mind and how we can use that to make the unconscious conscious and then make um, aligned decisions, take inspired action to move forward, th forward throughout our life. So I had a dream and dream work is huge in my line of work and how we communicate with the subconscious mind. I had a dream, it was vivid. It was a fleeting moment where I had a vision of my back garden and that and a hair was in my back garden. And I woke up in the morning and it felt real. It felt like it had happened. Um, and you know, some dreams are hazy, some are vivid, some leave you with emotions. This was just a vision in my mind of a hair sat, sat in my back garden. I knew it was powerful. And when I remembered it, I then went and looked up the symbolism of a hair. So uh, it's a sign of new beginnings. It's a sign of a rebirth, especially around the spring equinox. This was a, one day ago, so two days before the equinox. Um, and then looking more into the hare, the hare is the animal of the pagan goddess Austere, Austera, um, which is the pagan goddess of Easter, <laughs> which is two weeks away. I mean, I'm like pretty kind of, in awe of this because it's such potent symbolism symbolism such a potent message from my subconscious that one chapter of my life is ending and another one is beginning and it just so happens that it's ending at the time winter ends now i put, did a video a few at the beginning of the year called how to survive winter i'll link it here for anybody who wants to what wants to watch it and who is going through a winter a dark night of the soul it's here um and winter, I've just been experiencing so much symbolism in my life that winter is over. Winter is over and spring is here and that means that it's time to create. That means that it's time to work with my mind, work with the energy to create. So have a look at where something is ending in your life, allow it to end. It might feel a little bit painful, it, you might feel a twang of, I don't want that to end, but that's the everything is always happening for your highest good that is just the that is just the um small self the ego self stepping being afraid to step outside of the comfort zone but what if we embrace this what if we could trust that the universe the power the force that runs through us that runs through the trees that runs through the atmosphere um what if we could trust that force and that it knew where and how to guide us. That force is one with our higher self. What if we could trust our higher self? What if we could trust ourselves to work with this energy and to allow new possibilities into our life? Think about it. Something ends, you know, let's use a relationship as an example. Say you're in a relationship now that you're really, really happy in. When you were, you know, five years ago, you might have been in a different relationship that maybe you weren't happy in. But when that ended, it was really sad. There was a grieving period. And then there was space. And in that space, something new could come in. Well, that is the end of winter, spring. And then, you know, we, get, we can plant the seeds in spring for which we wish to see in our future. So let's work with this energy to create a powerful next chapter of our lives. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, winter, spring, summer, it, you know, and it's not linear. Healing life is not linear. Yes, we see it in a sort of linear cyclical way in nature and we can work with that. We can know that the spring comes after the winter, but we might have a couple of winters going on at once or we might have a one winter and then a winter in one area of our lives um, and in another area of our lives we could be having summer. So it's it's all not linear it's all a kind of journey that we get to embrace and we get to flow and we get to enjoy so it's an adventure an adventure of the seasons <laughs> and we get to harness this energy for true transformation in our lives so um how do we harness the spring energy how do we use it right ways that we can work with spring get outside yesterday was such a glorious day i spent half an hour in the sun went for a walk it was so incredible powerful to feel that sun on my face i felt recharged so go outside spend time in nature um 
go near a river, near water, allow it to flow through you, allow it to sit in silence with it and allow yourself to connect to the energy that the, that nature around you is giving off because nature is coming back to life right now. Take in that energy for yourself. Go for a walk in the woods. Look at the beautiful, fla beautiful flowers. Here we have daffodils everywhere. We have daffodils, snowdrops, that they sort of gone now, but our, the blossom on the trees, the cherry blossom, it's just such a beautiful time of year. The grass seems greener and brighter. So go outside, enjoy time in nature and allow nature's energy to seep into your own. Get creative, create something. What What is dying to be born through you? What do you want to create this spring? What seeds are you planting? Paint a picture, do some DIY. Um, decorate your house, uh, like what do you want to create? Write a book, start that business, take your business to the next level, go for the investment, write the book, reach out to the publisher, like what, what do you want to create? What do you want to see birthed into the world? Use meditation and visualization. So um, I'm gonna put the butterfly meditation here. Um, that you can use really, really powerful to step into the metamorphosis and watch out for next week's video because it's going to be an extremely powerful meditation to help with transformation. Um, and a really beautiful one that works with the spring energy now is the butterfly, um, the butterfly side work, you know, we're going to start seeing butterflies everywhere soon. So let's step out of the cocoon and into our butterfly self working with meditation and visualization at this time will help you drop into your subconscious mind connect to the higher self connect to the fl to the flowing energy of the universe and help you utilize that power so even just getting silent and connecting to your energy is going to help you on this and i recommend everybody has a silent meditation practice as well as working with guided meditation and visualization Go to an event locally to you because I am seeing so many events, incredible events that we do so much online, right? And I'm very blessed to have a community online. I'm very blessed to be able to do events online. I'm very blessed that my work is global because of the beautiful, fascinating internet. But go to an event locally to you, a sound bath, um, a spring equinox meditation journey, which is one that I'm hosting at a um, at one of the studios I teach at here in Derbyshire, um, a, a tarot event, a yoga like event, a retreat. What is there local to you that's working with the energy of spring? What can you go to and enjoy that? You know, visualizing like a visualization, vision boarding event, something that's help going to help you get the juices flowing for rebirthing. Set an intention for the season. How do you want your season to go? What seeds do you want to plant? Get silent and what intention comes up for you? Write down the first thing that comes up. This one's my favorite because um, this is what another message that I keep receiving at the minute is celebrate life. See life blooming all around you and celebrate it. Celebrate every version of you that has been and that will come. Celebrate all of you, the good, the bad, the ugly. Celebrate just the entire expansive energy that you are. Celebrate the person that had to do those things to get you where you are today. Celebrate everything that you've ever been through, everything that you've ever experienced and celebrate all the blessings in your life. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. It is such a beautiful act of gratitude to celebrate and that will be matched in your universe. So let's go into spring celebrating life and see what life wants to give us in order to match that energy of gratitude and celebration. And get ready to step into more and more of your true self as you do this. All of these processes are gonna help you awaken, help you enliven yourself to make the most out of this life. In order to make the most out of this life, you must become one with your true self, which means becoming whole. So all of these will help you do that. Um, and if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can. You can start working with a coach, do some shadow work. There's lots of things that you can do to become your true self. 
but all of these practices are gonna help you. Working with the spring energy is gonna help you. You're gonna flow more, you're gonna be in alignment more. So use this time in your life, work with the magic of spring, allow it to awaken and allow whatever is asking to be born through you to be born through you. It's the perfect time to be making moves towards your goals, dreams, wishes, ambitions, perfect time to be making big moves, perfect time to be setting out a plan for the rest of the year. And when I say rest of the year, I mean the next 12 months. Let's use this as the start of the year because you're now in a very powerful new beginning phase. What is it that you want to what is it that you want to create right now? So as I mentioned, a really beautiful, if you are going through a winter, if you're ending a cycle, if you're end, if something is coming to an end, if you're saying goodbye to an old version of you, there is the butterfly side meditation, which I highly recommend you do. I, I actually designed it for somebody who was in my life, who was going through a very, very challenging time. He was facing his ego. He was facing, um, he was becoming awakened to who he was and beginning a true transformation. So that's what I designed this for him. And it has helped so many people since. Um, I use it and it's it, it's a hit. It's a, it's a really beautiful meditation. So there's a lot of love in this. I recommend you doing it. Um, and then some journal prompts for you. What am I ready to let go of? What am I ready to let go of from winter? What am I ready to step into in spring? What energy do I want to invite into the next season? What seeds am I planting? And how can I take inspired action to watch those seeds grow and flourish? I hope this video has helped you in, be inspired to work with spring, to step into this beautiful, bountiful new energy um, I hope it's inspired you to go and buy yourself some daffodils and declutter your home, your space, your life and really make some big moves towards everything that you desire. It's all possible for you. Spring is a time of possibility. So I hope this video has helped you. If you want to delve more into, uh, if you want to learn how you can work with me on a deeper basis, on a deeper level, um, I have the beautiful Lotus community where we celebrate spring, we celebrate winter, we celebrate summer, the fall, we celebrate all of it because it's all life. Every quarter I hold a an equinox or solstice event powerful to help you work align with your vision, set your intentions and move forward, live a, an aligned life. Every week we have powerful group meditations and Q&A sessions, um, your chance to get spot coaching or work on whatever it is you're working on in your life. And of course, as always, I have private coaching available for anybody who wants to go deep into shadow work, learn how they can integrate their shadow and and do it and step into their true self and really create something magical and profound in this world. Um, I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps me to know that this is the type of message that you like to receive, um, that works for you and that helps you um, and that you enjoy these videos. Uh, and of course, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my latest content. Have a beautiful week.